What's going on, YouTube? Today, we have my favorite NBA DFS plays for Friday, April 27th, 2018. Uh, so let's let's end this week out strong on a good note. Let's get some good players. Let's make some good money. If you are, haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that like button um, because I make lineup videos a lot um, and they're completely free. So you should definitely subscribe. Anyways, at point guard, we have my boy, Daylon Wright. Um, you know, he doesn't have the greatest matchup on defense. You know, the defense is pretty decent, but, you know, I still like him in this matchup because, you know, he has a good value, 4.45, um, projected a pretty good amount of points for, you know, the amount he's gotten, as well as he's been pretty good lately, um, especially for his price point. So, you know, his recent value has been insane, $169 per point, which is extremely low, which means he is way undervalued. So obviously you want to take advantage of that. Um, so he's done like 33, 24, 32, 33, four out of the past five games. So he's been hot lately, um, and I think he's going to keep it up. You know, during the playoffs, tensions are high. Um, so I think he's still going to have another good game, even with the good defense on him. Um, I think he can definitely get a 25-plus, which would be um, about five times value. It would be five times value if he got 25. So I like DeLon Wright a lot at the point guard position. At shooting guard, we have Victor Oladipo. Um, a little bit more of an expense option, um, but he is a pretty good amount less on DraftKings. But um, here's why I like him. He's involved with like one third of the plays. Um, so, you know, he's going to get points. He gets good minutes, you know, 34 minutes a game, pretty solid. He has a good fantasy points per game um, and he's got a really good matchup on defense. Um, and by good, obviously, I mean the defense is bad. So at the position, they're 24th. At the team, it's 22nd. Um, and, you know, he's rated 98 out of 100 by draft dashboard, the highest for any shooting guard. So definitely something to be noted, as well as his season value per point um, is pretty low. Um, and so, yeah, I really do like him in this. You know, he's healthy. It's a home game. Uh, should play well in front of the home crowd. He's been very consistent, you know, 33, 35, 40, 35, 56. Um, so I think he definitely goes you know, 40 plus in this game versus this matchup. Um, and so, yeah, I like Oladipo a lot at the shooting guard position, and he's definitely my favorite play. So before we get into small forward, let me just tell you guys real quick what this software is. This is called Draft Dashboard. Um, it literally tells you everything you need to know about DFS. So maybe you suck at DFS and you want to actually make money. Um, I have a seven-day trial to Draft Dashboard linked in the description. All you have to pay is $1 and you get this software for seven days. Um, and so then you can go and start winning some good money on uh, DraftKings and FanDuel because, you know, it literally tells you everything you need to know about players. It even ranks them for you. And here's something special. When you guys sign up through the link in my description, once you sign up for uh, Draft Dashboard, when you click on Watched Players, there's going to be a button here that says Watch Andrew Man's Picks. When you click on it, it's going to show you all of my watched picks. So why this is important is because I'm making this lineup video in the morning. So my picks change throughout the day. Um, so there's some people I take out, some people I put back in. So if you want to see my final uh, lineup, you know, all you have to do is come to watch players and click watch Andrew Man's picks. And, you know, probably around 30 to 40 minutes before the slate starts, I'll have my final lineup in there. So you get free access basically to my lineups, as well as you can see, you know, all this different stats and stuff. Um, so very cool. So like I said, I'll have a link in the description, as well as if you want to see a more in-depth review on the software where I go over everything it does, I will have that video I made linked in the description as well. Now, without further ado, we will get straight back into the video. So at small forward, I have Lance Stevenson. Um, he was ranked 100 out of 100 by Draft Dashboard, so that definitely caught my eye. His season value per point is extremely low. Um, Lance Stevenson is a guy that gets undervalued all the time. Um, he's almost got a projected five value going into the game, so that's pretty solid. Um, and for a guy that, you know, is so cheap, he is involved in a lot of plays. Um, you know, he's kind of a scrappy guy, so he's involved about 22% of plays. And he's been, you know, not too bad lately. He's 17, 27, 15, 15, 16. Um, and for his price point, that's not too bad. I think he can definitely go 20 plus in this game versus this good matchup. Um, and so, yeah, I, Lance Stevenson is definitely a value guy you can get. Um, you know, obviously he's not going to go ahead and score 
40 to 50 points, but he's going to give you good value for your money. Um, and you always want to look for players that can do that. At power forward, we have Demonta Sabonis. Or, uh, sorry if I butchered your name, dude. Um, but, um, you know, backup power forward, but still gets a lot of points. Value is at 5.23 right now, projected about 24 points. Um, and his recent value has been extremely, extremely low, $143 per point. Um, honestly, I don't know if I've seen a lower value than that, which means DeMontis is way undervalued. So like I said before, take advantage of these guys. Um, you know, last game he had 33, then 24. Um, then the three games before that, he wasn't too hot. But the last two games have been good. Let's hope he can keep it up for a third. You know, projected a good amount of points, got a good matchup on defense. Um, not too good of a defense up on him. So I do like DeMontis a lot. Definitely another good value play that'll get you, you know, a good amount of points for what you're paying. At center, I have Jonas Valencia Yunus. Um, you know, pretty good value, 4.52. Um, not too expensive. He's about middle middle of the pack. Um, he's second most ex third most expensive center um, on the slate, but involved in a decent amount of plays uh, for a center. Let's see. Yeah, that's the most on the slate actually. So he's involved in the most amount of like plays across the whole slate. So definitely something to be noted. You know, his, the defense against him is 10th and 11th. So, you know, obviously they're good, but at least they're not like the best in the league. So um, they're just above middle of the pack. So I think he can still do well. Um, and he's been pretty good lately. 42, 25, 40, 25. Um, so even with him scoring 25, that's like a 4.5 value. So, you know, I think he goes third, er, anywhere from, I'd say, 25 to 30 in this game which is pretty solid for only costing 6100 So those are my five favorite players. Again, if you want to see more of an updated version, go hit the link in the description and start your seven-day trial so you can see you know, my watched players right there, that button. It'll show you all my watched players for the day. Um, so I hope you guys did enjoy this. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Drop a comment if you want. Leave that like, um, and I will see you guys with another lineup video on another day.